Oh. Massive waterfalls flowing with like a really high speed water. Like, I don't know where all that water is coming from upslope at that rate, but just spewing out of there, really. So far, I'm getting the feeling this is a little bit more of a walking simulator -y style game than a puzzle game. You definitely solve puzzles, but so far it's looking like there might be like one puzzle per chapter that's, l that's less of a puzzle and more of a test of whether or not you've explored the whole area. Oop, don't fall down. Oh, there's a ladder there. Let's see, is that like the next mechanism I need to figure out? Doesn't mean the game's bad or anything, but it does mean I'm, I'll be a little disappointed in my choice of puzzle game for puzzle reasons. I can't cross until the drawbridge is lowered. Yep. Ah, dragonfly. Hmm. I came down to see if there was a puzzle mechanic down here to learn. Or like a mechanism that I need to solve. But what it, wherever it is, it's, it's it's somewhere up there. You only have to go down when you're ready to, to, to continue. Oh, I must have found the luxury huts. Pretty swanky. Kind of a fucked up idea. <laughs> We're all going to go on this expedition together, but I'm going to have a special, better area to be, and you're going to be worse off, so yeah. Eh, it's huts, though. This isn't like the stuff they brought as supplies. They literally just built these from scratch, didn't they? Hello. The parts of the tiki on this column seem movable. Hmm. I just have to know what I'm supposed to put in. It's being ripped out of something else. I have four different tikis, but don't necessarily know what I'd want them I've to look like. I've seen keep even restaurant checks for bookkeeping. He would never tear up a piece of valuable information. If he would never tear up a piece of valuable information, doesn't that maybe mean this isn't valuable information? Checkmate. <laughs> I think there's more missing there. There it is. There we go. Yes. Oh, this is a more vertical note than I was expecting. I was leaving space for it to be like landscape orientation. Got it. And then she immediately dives away so I can't get a good look at it. There we go. Family symbols? They seem to represent sea creatures. The order of the symbols is important. What's the connection with each tiki? Oh right, the people on the expedition did not make these huts. Right, they were already here. They just kind of adopted them. What mess did you get into, Harry? Starry wisdom. Stella sapiens. Stella sap sapientis. A little curious. Stella Sapientis from Latin means star wise. So, starry wisdom. So, yes, the same thing as the title. Providence, Rhode Island. Why is it always Providence, Rhode Island? Uh, isn't that, is that where H HP Lovecraft lived? I don't remember. Mr. Everhart. 
We deeply regret your refusal to accept our funding for your expedition. We have always had an excellent relationship with your family, and we really considered this venture a unique and profitable opportunity for both parties. Wish you the best of luck on your journey. You surely are going to need it. Yours sincerely, Caleb Bowen, the Starry Wisdom Society. And then she crumpled it back up and put it back on the floor. <laughs> Considering how poorly Harry draws, this isn't half bad. So the ruins are up on the up the elevator. We either need the elevator or maybe the drawbridge to get there. Interesting. Something fits there. More drawings. These are kind of funny drawings because it's like it's such a straightforward concept that the idea they had to draw it out is kind of funny. Oopsie. Frank seems to feel guilty for whatever happened. I feel really bad for him. Mr. Everhart, I still don't understand what happened. Roy knew, just as well as you, that the black ooze was highly volatile. I should never have believed him when he said he had your permission. It won't happen again. Frank. Well, he is dead. So... I'd be really concerned if it happened again. Both due to the consequences and the fact that the person who did it is dead, so he might be back, and that's spooky. Look at him. Giddy as a schoolboy. Icor? Black Icor. Who's. What is he holding? There's their food supplies. What device was that? You put together quite an expedition, Harry, and all just for little old me. The Harry of a heart I know would never have given up on this. Something must have happened that kept him from solving it. This is so frustrating. I know I'm close, but I can't find the right combination. Circles with circles inside them. Other planes of existence. That's bats. That's bats. <laughs> Telegas Spectacles Lens Aligner. An unsurpassed technological device from every point of view. After a specific alignment, this device concentrates the resonance wave spectrum in an optical impression. Observing the lens will affect the subject's pineal gland, allowing them to gaze and do other planes of reality outside the spectrum we consider our dimension. A type B machine. 175... Oh. 175 dollars. This looks like a comma, but that's not three zeros, so it's not thousand. Sometimes the comma and the period switch based on what language you're using. Country of origin. In a telescope? Oh man. If they look into a different dimension with the telescope? It started gooing at them like the room. Because Call of Cthulhu and uh, Where did you get this strange device, Harry? There's always the explicit games like Canarium and Call of Cthulhu and uh, Sinking City and this game for Lovecraft. And there's also the less explicit ones like The Room. I always have to remember when I'm totaling them. There's so many. Whoa, this is a lot. Huh. I'm not really sure how this thingamajig works or what to do with it. Neat, though. Was the seal already broken? My dear old pal, I know you won't ever read this letter, but I'm accustomed to writing you and it comforts me in this strange place. This island is riddled with secrets. So many secrets. But I'm not only talking about mechanisms and contraptions, Nora. I dare say that something on the island clouds one's judgment. Otherwise, I don't have an explanation for Roy's actions. The man was arrogant, impulsive, and a little cocky, but he was no fool. 
We weren't friends by any means, but he didn't deserve what happened to him. Nobody deserves that. We may have made some progress in finding the cure for your illness, but at what price? I miss you so much, Nora. Harry. He may not say it explicitly, but Harry blames himself for Roy's death. I know him too well. And I miss you too, Harry. Did he get mind controlled a bit? Guided into and compelled to do this one thing? No matter what? I don't cast a shadow here, I notice. Hello. A stranded ship. That's significant. I'm sure we'll spend some time there. Somehow not visible, though. Hmm. This explains why the campsite is nearly abandoned. Tell the others to pack up as fast as they can. We have to get to the Black Sand Beach. Something's happened to the ship. Bring only what's indispensable. The Black Sand Beach, so that's why it looks weirdly dark down there, maybe? Unless it's like a glitch? Yeah, there's because black sand down there. Stranded ship. It looks weirdly incomplete right now, visually. Hmm. How are you gonna just go and put your wet cup directly on the documents? How dare you? This is the kind of negligence that leads to one getting blown up. Same document, I think. Did I look at that exact one already? Maybe. Oh yeah, I probably like meant to click on this book and then click on that through it. As if by magic. Five one. Oh. And it moves as I go. So if I put them on three three, it'll center. It might have already been there. That makes it match the reticle. That's not necessarily my goal. I'm not really sure how this thingamajig works. Or what hmm. to do with it. Hmm. Turtle, shark, stingray, octopus. Hmm. That's an octopus because it has tentacles. A little harder to say after that. Oh, that's turtle. Turtle shell is that icon there. I guess that's a shark because of its teeth. So first put the houses up top. That's the turtle side. Now shark is those eyes. Stingray I decided was this one, so that's tongue. And then the, then the tentacles. Hey! I was able to figure them out. Just kind of context cluing them. Yep, there's, there's, there's the solution there. There might have been more information I was supposed to go on, or maybe the, you were supposed to just intuit it from here. Because, yeah, it's like, oh, this one has fins and teeth, so that's probably the shark. This one's got the same symbol up here as that turtle shell. This one obviously has tentacles, and this is the last one left, if nothing else. So I was able to figure out what each one was, then put them in that order. Chunk by chunk. Hmm. This appears to be the shrine of a Polynesian chieftain. Hmm. 
What kind of stone is this? I've never seen any substance quite like it. There's that it feels, uh, disturbing. There's that highly flammable black ooze to watch out for. Impressive work. Is that a fish pattern? Hmm. I don't know yet what they want from me with the whatever that device is. I can actually hear the bellows going from here. But at the same time, there's also this bridge over here. So we're definitely not done here. Harry fact, hated asking his parents for money to fund this expedition. The Everhards are a wealthy Boston family, quite old fashioned. They were never really pleased with his eldest marrying a middle-class girl. That's why he wanted to get away from them as soon as he could. Just like his siblings did after him. Whatever I do up here probably reveals more of what I need down here. How... how um, is that possible? What fascinating technology. And how do you think any of this works? Magic? Oh my goodness, what happened here? That black ooze again. July 14th, 1934. That imbecile Roy blew the hatch to smithereens and blew himself up with it. Don't worry, Doc. I have Mr. Everhart's okay. And that, this is just a controlled detonation. Huh. Three feet closer and I wouldn't be here to tell the story. I got splashed with the black ooze. Took me a whole damn evening to clean it off. Ooh, what if it infected him? I don't like how it's so hard to read because of the blooming. Like, like the ones on my hands. I have to zoom in like crazy so it's just legible. Skin alterations appeared on my left hand today, similar to. What does it say? Angoimas. I don't know that word. Allergic eczema. Cyan cyanosis. Let's hope not. I took some samples of my blood to analyze. Ask for the photo of Everett's wife's hand. The black ooze exposure gets ya. Did your mom ooze on you? July 17th. The spots on my skin are moving. I can feel them. I can feel them. Is there someone? One in the well? I can hear voices at night. In fact, I could swear they're calling my name. And who is playing that music? Big, small, small, big. Is that a clue? Hmm. Heavens, he's losing his mind. What does it say? Slap. Kinje. Slap. 1879. Stop playing that music. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That's enough. I like it very much. Well, I'm glad he came to peace with it. He seems to be pretty chill about it now. Uh oh. Cripes. This man was splashed with that black liquid. Who the fuck had the time to take this photo? <laughs> the Whoever photographer must have a really cool head. strains belief. Is this a picture of my hand? Did you not know he had it? Uh oh. Erythrocytes. Hmm. Aren't those red blood cells? Undefined substance. Pulsating. Affecting erythrocytes. Mmm. 
the different stages of the infection. Poison? They brought poison. Why? Ugh, I can't stand the smell of medical equipment. It reminds me of my illness. Mostly got this far by solving our way through things. But they just went and blew it up. That was their solution. I better not touch it. And given what happened, they shouldn't have either. It's a plunger. For the explosive. And I assume anything it was ever hooked up to is long gone by now. Well then, I'm going down. Come on, Nora. Deep breath. Deep breath. Oh, I told it. Do you not do well with enclosed spaces? You can hear the voices. That's concerning. Is somebody whispering? Hello? Is anyone down here? I can press these star-shaped tiles. And they get concerning when you do. This eye, it, is it calling to me? Ugh. Leaky eyes. I almost feel as if they're watching me. I feel disoriented down here. Are these ornamental? Or something else? Yeah, can you solve them? Another eye. Ah, uh, I hear whispering. Were these eyes related to the ritual? Do they have two pupils? Looks a lot like some of them do, but in distressing patterns? I hear it. I'd, I'd better draw it just in case. Do you just hit them in the right order? The whispering, it... It stopped. Was I imagining all that? So there must be some way to figure out the order of these guys, but what in the world's going on with them? Hmm. Well. Their heads are hard to make out, aren't they? Just a bunch of different geometric shapes mashed together. Is it a headdress they would wear? Or did they look like that? Is it sucking their souls out or something? It's a visual. They made it this far because they have lamps pointing at them. Did I turn this on and off a second ago? That I that I saw a flicker. You were close to something here, Harry. Let me see if I can solve it. Rituals? Other realities? Forgotten civilization. Not Polynesian. Black ooze used to replicate ritual. Check tilling gas pamphlet. Well, this looks like another job by handyman Harry. So they're figuring out how to replicate the ritual via the trans-dimensional thing. Maybe he heard the whispers too. Mr. Everhart. The doctor's been acting like an oddball ever since he was splashed with the black ooze. He's got it worse after moving to the top of the cliff. Keep an eye on him. Frank. Oh, he moved, right, because his, his place was up top. So he, move, he moved his camp closer to the ruins after he was splashed. Which becomes retroactively worrying.
There must be a pattern in which you're supposed to press these though, right? This one's really big. None of the other ones are that big. Do you follow the pattern? Oh. They're kind of different heights, with different numbers of pupils. I'm not sure if I can discern a numerical order from that, though. Hmm. So maybe if I figure out what to do with the previous device thing, maybe I'll have some idea of how to put this together. Hmm. All that effort that All that effort to blow up a thing that some and somebody died in the process. And they could have just gotten in through here. I climbed down or something. You could almost you could you could almost get away with just hanging down from what by your hands and letting go, but it's it's a little too high for that. Like, got any rope? <laughs> this should save some time. They may have taken some unnecessary risks. It makes the elevator a little funny, too, that there's just a side path. You can just get in over there. The elevator is such an elaborate solution for getting up top. Just to descend back down. We got that much. There's a bunch of symbols there. I wonder if I was supposed to find them all one by one. Uh, okay. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I've been a, I was a fool. I should have stayed down there. Oop, oop, oops, freaking out a little bit. You right? Because that's definitely what I was supposed to do. I'm supposed to just draw a line between the eyes that have those icons. That's why I was called to them. There's not a, there is not a tangible in-world solution for this puzzle. It's her vision. Her vision was the puzzle. Or that was the solution. So you can only solve this if it calls to you. Which is worrying in its own way. So start at the one that's bottom. That one. I don't know which one to start with. I don't know. I'll just go for it. I'm way over to the one that's that one then go to that one are they also the bleeding yeah they are also, they're also the bleeding ones so go from here to there to there hmm maybe I'm not ready to solve this yet Like, I guess I went in front of it? Oh! No. <laughs> not quite that easy. Okay. Yeah, it's not as easy as I thought, because there these things aren't obviously right at the eyeballs. So that makes the solution more ambiguous. Hmm. Are there hints on the walls these guys are on?
I'm not sure what to make of the backgrounds. Hmm. Do you like start at the bloody one and go to the small one each time? Because each of these has two. That is itself sort of hard to interpret though. Like you to you, if the especially large hole is supposed to mean the giant star. There also kind of isn't a middle one. And it won't let you press when it's not currently attached to what you're at. Maybe go from the outside to the inside would be that one. This is right this is reaching like crazy. And that one suggests going to like the opposite side. This is not No. I'm not onto something right now. Hmm. I was wrong to think that the solution was so simple. I've been wrong in many ways in a row. Good job.